Hello guys, Janos here and welcome to Awaken Chaos Era. Today, I'm here to provide you guys the day 2 update on my game account. I've been playing this game for 2 days straight and I just want to show you guys how amazing this game really is. So this is going to be my second impression on this game right over here. This is a masterpiece. This is the game that is going to be a hybrid between Epic 7 and Raid Shadow Legends, but in a better version, okay? So that said, I really want to take you to the battlefield first to show you guys like how my team is actually function functioning as of now so you can see right over here guys i've got a legendary unit known as mulhex and he's one of the best dps unit right over there i was pretty lucky to get him uh after clearing this certain cannon i was given this facility to do a total of five multi summons and i was given the option to keep one out of those five multi summons batch okay and in one of those batch mulhex was out there and man he just blessed me because the amount of damage that he does is so good all right and i got kane i got joseph i got connor even if it's elite units or like epic units they are so good because you know like their skills are very well thought okay they are very well developed the developers have really given a very good thought in creating these characters just like in summoner's war or let's say in epic 7 so you really don't have to be specifically specifically focused on the legendary units okay so just because you don't have legendary units doesn't mean that like you have to be really really sad all right even the elite and the uh the epic units really do good in this game and that's what's so really special about this game because like there are so many rpg gacha games where it's really about the uh, main pinnacle units or let's say the main legendary units or let's say the main ssr units like in Ep uh, the exos heroes right in exos heroes if you don't have the gold fate units you are pretty much screwed all right it's really about those units out there who are only achievable in one percent red but in this game guys well even the elite type hero units all right, and the uh, epic type hero units can actually help you a lot in the battlefield uh, while you can actually start waiting for your fast legendary units to arrive. But I don't think that you have to really wait for that long because the gacha rate in this game is pretty good as well. Because starting uh, 70 summons, you will be able to get enhanced gacha rate. And uh, in 100 summons, you are going to be guaranteed a legendary unit all right so yeah that is gonna be it so far so good you have been able to see that the graphical experience in this game is really really awesome it's really flawless no glitches so far no bugs so far everything is really working fine the boss unit looks so amazing right over there with a lot of bobs look at that graphical animation man what more do you want <laughs> This is amazing, man. It's like, oh, wow, wow, wow. I mean, like, don't you guys really think that, like, this game is like a combination of the Raid Shadow Legends and Epic 7, all right? And, uh, well, so many players might have actually that problem, thinking, like, this game might be a pay to win, maybe later on future, but for now, I don't think so. It's pretty free to play friendly till. Uh, you know, like thus far i have not really experienced very hard bottleneck contents where uh, my progress was totally halted by a huge paywall it has not happened to me so far okay everything is going really smoothly uh, for a total of two days i've been playing like you know non-stop and man this game has been nothing less than a f you know, like fun experience okay wonderful wonderful fun experience guys it's so good indeed wow man wow <laughs> oh man okay so there we go guys these are really good like you know character animations character artworks and yes everything really makes a lot of sense in this game battle report right over here you can actually check out like this really good stuff out here heroes okay like and stuff like that to check out and to enhance them and to improve them so that they can perform much better in the battlefield so this one is the legendary unit that i managed to get thanks to the uh beginner support multi summons and i wish you a really good luck to get a really amazing unit out there as well which i think you will be guaranteed a legendary unit in at least one of one out of those five multi summons all right and i think that's going to be the 
point where you are supposed to reroll as well and these are going to be the details on this character right up here for now he's of level 40 i should be getting him to level 50 and level 60 onwards later on just like in epic 7 all right and the gear system is pretty good just like in epic 7 uh there are set effects and try to you complete the set effects so that you can actually provide a lot more stats to your units so that your units can actually perform a lot better in the battlefield there's a glyph system out here as well which i can use in order to unlock uh, like more stats to my unit so that my my character can actually be more productive in the battlefield uh, ability boost right over here these are the materials that are needed in order to boost up the skills so uh, unlike in epic 7 where we need molagora which is so hard to farm in this game it's a little bit different these are the materials that are not really that hard to farm in the game all right we can totally totally grind for this material out here uh and later on definitely we will be able to fast improve our units or fast upgrade our units all right so that's gonna be it there's a really good bio out here as well and just look at this amazing amazing graphical uh, you know like you know like feature to a character it's an amazing design really really amazing design we are really getting the characters which are shown right over here the same as in the battlefield okay there is no difference at all so that even makes it much better. I actually managed to receive lots of units out here. That's going to be the Melissa. This is going to be the Kane. This is going to be the Connor. This is going to be Joseph. This is going to be Celine. This is going to be Evelyn. This is going to be the Jaturi, right? And that's going to be Anna. These all characters. I kind of reviewed the skills of all of these characters and they all are looking really, really great, all right? They are so awesome. Like, let's say, for example, let's look into this character right over here, which is an elite unit, all right? Or let's say a three star nat unit, like in, um, in, in Summoner's War, or let's say in the uh, Epic Seven. So when we are gonna look into our skills, look at this right away, guys. Deals 80% damage to an enemy with a 20% chance to apply stun for one turn, which is pretty great, right? Uh, second skill right over here, deals 70% damage to an enemy and applies speed down and attack down for two turns. It's just like a tank unit and having like this kind of debuff uh, against the opponents is so good indeed, right? And finally guys, look into your ultimate skill, charging, raid, ultimate skill, six turn cooldown. Deals 160% damage to an enemy with 75% chance to apply taunt for two turns, grant this character invincible for one turn that is so good man this is really really good just think about it this is the skill configuration of an elite unit what about the you know like epic unit and legendary unit it's so well thought it's really really good i mean like if you really don't have a, an amazing like you know tank she can actually do well for your team all right while you are waiting for an elite or a legendary substitution later on so this is great guys uh man i'm pretty satisfied with this stuff like this is not a lazy ass game this is not a cash grab game which is out there to grab our cash endlessly okay so this is really good guys all right so yeah let's get let's get that one yeah and i also really need to focus on the beginners uh guide system right over here which is gonna give you a lots of amazing rewards that can be a really great help in your account progression right over here lots of amazing rewards for fulfilling the tutorial uh, missions out here guys uh stage two also is there stage three is also there and you can see right over here there, there are even more uh, beginner tutorial missions which are going to provide you with very very essential items in the game like this right over here four star holy pumpkin that is needed in order to promote your units right to higher star grades and so much more master the elements and so much more guys like these are the way how the beginners are not only gonna learn the game but also earn lots and lots of amazing stuff in this game all right and just like uh it, like in the epic seven uh i forgot the name anyways it's covenants uh you have to fulfill the certain missions and after fulfilling the certain mission you will be able to challenge this particular character and you will be able to even get that character which is so 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 good and guess what guys this character is uh, an amazing unit all right i'm actually trying to come up with the guide about this particular covenant stuff all right look at it guys uh, plus 10 percent defense for herself as a passive stuff let's see as an elite unit she's just an elite unit guys not an epic unit or let's say a four star unit or a five star unit she's a three star nat unit all right like in epic seven standards so as an elite unit look at her fast active skill deals 50 percent damage to an enemy and heals whichever team member has the lowest percentage of health remaining for five percent of the max health healing spell right at the bat in her basic skill all right and in her second active skill look at it 
heals a team member for 25% of max health and removes two negative effects from them, which is so good. There's a cleanse effect, there's a healing effect as well. So there are already a total of two skills with healing effects, right? And how about for the ultimate skill? Look at it right over here, guys. Heals all team members, AoE healing right over there for 20% of max health and grants attack off for two turns. Not only just the health boost, but also the attack up boost, which is so, so good. My gosh. This is amazing. All right, so uh, even as an elite unit, Rodira right over here, guys, which we are going to be getting for free, is already doing so good. Right? Let all of the epic units and the legendary units, and even the legendary units, we will be able to get by fulfilling this particular four missions right over here, guys. And she looks so good. Wonderful wifey unit right over here. All we need to do is fulfill these four missions and she is going to be ours. Let's look into her skills right over here. First ability. If the enemy is affect, uh, uh, affected by a control effect, then applies increased damage taken for two turns. So seems like she can actually control the opponent, right? And uh, improves the damage done against them. Deal 70% damage to an enemy with the 50% chance to apply sleep for one turn. Kind of reminds me of Succubus from the uh, Summoner's War, <laughs> right? Yay. The next one right over here is going to be the Dark Erosion, all right? Uh, that's the special effect. Deals 40% damage to an enemy and applies stun for one turn. That is so good. It's a 100% stun effect, guys. And heals 15% of the max health. Healing, stun, and damage. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Next one is going to be her ultimate skill. Deals 120% damage to an enemy and applies confusion for one turn. If the enemy is a uh, affected by a control effect and then prolongs all the ne negative effects by one turn all right so there we go guys she's pretty much of a utility unit rather than a main dps unit all right so all in all really amazing units right over here that you can actually check them out totally totally for free look at this amazing unit man wow she just looks so so good hot thick and sexy all right so yeah that is it Anyways, uh, this is going to be the summon feature right over here, guys. I actually managed to do a lot of summon in this game. And there's even an event going on around. Like, more the summons you are going to be doing, more the new features that you are actually going to get unlocked in that particular event, uh, more new rewards, and so on and on, all right? So I'm actually going to show you guys, like, how to purchase the... Um, the, the, the summon stones all right so let's go into the shop right over here go into the diamond shop and uh in right over here guys it's written uh, 100 diamonds will give you this one advanced summoning crystal so i'm actually gonna take all of them all right let's do it so i am taking like 10 of them and what i'm actually gonna do is let's summon in one go let's try to do one multi-summon please give me a really good stuff come on bro Come on, 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 come on. No, shit, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like so far, the summoning session, yeah, it kind of sucks a little bit. It's really, really sad. I mean, like, at least the multi summon should have, you know, like, guaranteed one epic unit, right? But no, that's not the situation out here. But hey, guys, guess what? Uh, the rate will start to increase after 70 consecutive summons, all right? And uh, at 100 summon, the legendary unit is actually going to be guaranteed. So, yeah, that's going to be it for now. There's no ongoing active banners. So, all we need to do is just go on blindly on it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That was a pretty drastic, you know, like very, very, very disastrous summon. <laughs> I'm not really happy with that. Okay, so let's try to check out for the other gifts out here. These are the gifts that are actually giving me lots and lots of fun. All right, for experience, guys, it's not a big deal at all in this game. Why? Because the experience points, you know, like this thing, look at that, guys. 266,540, this uh, EXP stuff right over here, which is more than enough to, you know, like level up my entire characters to max level. Like, that's how good it is. Like, this game is really giving oh, away a lot of freebies right away. So this is really great. This is really great. I'm really loving it. Okay, so there we go, guys. Every characters are really having a really good blast right over there. And uh, it's time to check out for the event. I think I've got really good stuff right over here. Yes, 400, 800, and 1200. So it's time to check out this uh, really good stuff. All right, let's, let's get them. These are the event rewards. And I think the event rewards are pretty awesome as well. If this game is actually going to keep up with these amazing rewards in the events, definitely this game is actually going to be going really long way, all right? I think, I mean, like, look at these events, guys. I mean, like, these this rewards, I think it's way much better than compared to Epic 7. 
when it comes to like event rewards the <laughs> the event rewards of epic 7 is not really that super good out there i had made a lot of complaints about that one but for this one right over here guys the the events it's already making a very good impression right at the very uh, beginning all right uh, there's magic pass event as well just like the battle pass in many other games out there uh, just try to fulfill the missions out here the challenge quest and you will be able to earn a lot of experience points while also earning a lot of uh, rewards right up here and in the main rewards look at that that's a lot of amazing amazing stuff out here guys definitely you know to buy the elite pass we got to spend a lot of money all right so that's the big problem out there Anyways, that's it and done, guys. That's pretty much it. Uh, what do you guys think about this particular th stuff out here? Let me know in the comment section below. So far, it's really, really getting good. Uh, everything is really reminding me as of the, you know, like this, this uh, Epic Seven, you know, like this, even the guild battles and the guild scores and so much more. Man, a lot to expect, a lot to have fun in this game, and a lot to like, you know, ex like to hope. <laughs> That's it. This is it for today. See you guys in the next video.